So this week we're going to cover something that goes really well with last week, and that's we were making, remember we were making these line charts and they had multiple charts on the screen. And so one trick I use in my work all the time is I facet them. So I let each um, group or each um, breakdown be on its own individual chart. It's actually a pretty simple process, but let's first of all explain the types of um, different faceting. So there's so there's two types of faceting. There's going to be facet wrap and facet grip. Facet wrap is the simplest, and it's shown here. So if you have two groups, they're going to be laid out just kind of um, just across and like almost like a list form, so like a wrap. A grid is a little different, and a grid is going to have one on the kind of this grid x-axis and then one on the grid y-axis, so it's much more controlled, and you have a lot less options with facet grid as you can do with facet wrap, and we'll go over those, but let's first of all, just um, in this lesson, we're going to look at facet wrap. So let's create a new file. And then let's open up that uh, data set we had last time, but we're going to need to use two libraries. So library ggplot2 and then library scales. Let's run these real quick. And then let's open that cancer file. So remember this cancer file is going to be rates over from 1999 to 2013. And it's going to be um, across states. So we're going to have a little couple of different states. And this is the file right here. You want to get the um, underlying. It's going to wrap a little bit. But. Oh. You want to do a header equals true. Look at this. It's looking pretty good. So you're going to see that the names down here are pretty big and um, pretty long. So it's a little bit confusing. Not the cleanest thing, but we're going to clean up a little bit. But first of all, let's look at. Um, so let's just make a basic plot first. So we'll do ggplot cancer AES. For aesthetics, x equals x dot year, so still pretty funny looking. Y equals deaths. Let's put the color as state. So color, this is almost like a group um, statement, so you can use either way, but just for ease, we'll do see state. So we don't have to do the grouping, and then plus genome line and let's look at that so you're going to see it's pretty messy right here you really can't see anything so the death counts really low but if you look and the reason this happens is because we haven't subset it so um, if you look at the data set let's see there may be some outliers in this file so let's go back and check it uh, doesn't like to be any let's expand limits see the data so let's use a group maybe inside the group there we go so we needed the group statement in there too but you can see the colors here the groups there but one issue is, and this happens a lot, is you're going to have this x-axis, and it's going to be kind of messy. So it's because this is a character variable, and it's not handling it correctly. So let's do that. And I, I do this all the time. So this is the trick I do. So I do this all the time. And let's take a, a closer look at that at that variable. So string cancer, structure cancer, sorry, str structure. And we're going to look when we pull up to the year, x year, it's factors. So one of the trick you can use here is just to do 
the levels of cancer x dot year you can look at the levels the, these are the levels and they're kind of funny so it came in pretty funny we're just going to clean it up and do 1999 since we know it starts in 1999 and ends in 2013 so we, we just uh, reassigned these so we rewrote these and let's look we look at that and we see that's what we get 1999-2013 so now we want to make this numeric this you can tell by the double quotation marks its character so we still got to change that and so let's work inside out so first of all we're going to change it to a character instead of it's still a factor right now so if we did string cancer see it's still a factor or string uh year x that year still a factor so we'll make it numeric Oh, make it a character first. So now it's a in character format. Now each one is a character value for each row in that data set. And then we're going to do as numeric wrapped around that. And then boom, it's numeric. So now let's add it to this new variable. Year underscore cleaned up. And that's pretty nice. And now let's go back to here, year underscore. And we're going to get something that looks a lot cleaner. So this bottom's a lot cleaner. So let's look at fastening. So fastening is just what if we want California on one and Kansas on one? And it's pretty simple. So here you're going to look at the nomenclature for facet wrap. And it's facet wrap. Since we only have one group, we're going to use this. I think, believe it's a tilde. And we're just going to use that variable, so x dot state. So we want to wrap around state. And we're going to see what we get here. Oh, I should have done it after. Remove it. Let's see what it looks like. Pretty neat, pretty neat. But the one thing you're noticing here is that Kansas has a lot less deaths than California, and this happens a lot in my work. You're gonna have states that have way more deaths and and groups that have way less um, records. So what do you do here? You're gonna see when we blow it up the zoom. What do you do in this situation? Well, this is where the functionality in facet wrap is pretty rad. So what you do here, and I is going to just use um, one of the, the parameters, and it's scales equals free y and would you do this you're gonna get that so now it's now you can see that the california goes to 59,000 kansas goes to 5600 but the one thing i don't like is that it doesn't go to zero so let's add that back in so we already have that back here expand limits y equals zero and we're going to get something really usable. So um, let's do the final cleanup. So the cleanups we're going to do, we're going to add a title. So labs. X equals, and this is the bump it. So we'll bump it down. Year. So backslash N gives a space before um, year. And you can see right here, it's really close. I like to bump it down a little bit. So that's why they're doing that y equals age or number of deaths in the title cancer by year and state let's look at all this together case cool still pretty close let's bump it down let's put the box that's in there so the title is too close to this and this is too close to this so I'll add both spacings we'll rerun it 
cleaner, much cleaner. And then these are the last two thing, little things I do. So I don't like this. Doesn't add anything. So we'll just get rid of that. The easy way to do this is theme. And this is we're editing the theme right here. Legend position, and then just put it as none. So that is gone. And then for the last one. And this is just being pretty picky, but um, these, I hate it when we don't have commas in there. So if it's ever that long, always put a comma. It makes it easier to read. And we'll put in scale, Y, since we're going to work on the Y axis, continuous. I may have spelled that wrong, but we'll see. Labels equals comma. You don't need any um, quotes around that. Bingo. So we have the 60,000, 40,000, 20,000, 4,000. It's clean. Years are clean. If you want to add more, you can. And everything works. Everything looks pretty good. So that is facet wrap, and that is um, going through how you wrap something. So if you have more states, and let's say, let's say that we want it in one column, we can do this. And call equals one. That'll put them all in one column top to bottom that doesn't look that good but end call equals two that looks a lot better and so this is when you're forcing it when you want it to be one or two columns this is also a function but um, we really don't need that in this it looks pretty good as is but you may need it if you have a lot more groups and things and things like that so basically that is it so stick around for facet grid um, next week or later this week and I um, hope you enjoyed it remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you did thank you bye